May 24th, Ahmet the pet sitter enters his client's apartment to check on their cat, Meow Meow. I'm not making this up, that's the cat's name. Uh-oh, Ahmet is not alone. He has a companion, shall we say, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, say no more. I'm going to stop right here and introduce you to Audrey Yang and her friend Alicia Marshall. Avid travelers and friends, Audrey was in Australia with her husband. Before they left, the couple installed a security camera to keep an eye on their apartment, and then they hired Puppy Parade, a pet sitting service, to take care of Meow Meow. Seeing the litter box and see the cat and um, at refill the auto feeders. Sounds simple enough. Four days into the trip, Audrey gets an email notice and still photos from the security system notifying her that someone is in the apartment. It's noon in Australia, but 9 p.m. here in the U.S. You know what's coming. We saw him and a girl kissing my kitchen. That's just the beginning. It sure was because Ahmed and his friend were just getting started. They went from the kitchen to the floor. Meow Meow was not interested in their flirtations. And then they were on the couch. Ah, springtime, when a young couple's thoughts turn to the celebration of life. I start getting angry. I start texting him saying, what are you doing here at this hour and what is this girl doing here with you? He doesn't respond. Of course he doesn't respond. He's busy getting busy. I still continue during my lunchtime, continue to receive pictures, including some new pictures. Ahmet's friend seems distracted by Meow Meow but he quickly regains her attention. The Randy couple races off to another room with Meow Meow close behind. Hey guys, wait for me. This was just getting good. Hi, what am I writing here? The heavy petting pet sitter is in full blown birthday suit when the Randy couple returns to the living room. The lights were out as they make their way to the couch and take a look at Meow Meow. No wonder cats have night vision. Meanwhile, back in Australia, Audrey is livid. She calls Alicia who drives over to the apartment. I struggled with the locks. Um, I think while I was struggling, they probably heard that someone was fumbling with the door. There's, there's someone at the door. When I opened the door, Ahmet was standing right in front of me. Do you know this, this apartment about Mr. Gillen, the whole apartment? Yes. And give me the keys and pack your things up and go. This whole f apartment is wired by cameras. I've been watching you. Did you invite some girl over here? Uh-oh, Ahmet. Party's over, bro. Yep, that's the command that usually ends the festivities. Get the f out and just the way you walk. Now. Don't waste my time getting dressed in the apartment. Take it into the hallway, get, get dressed there. Give me the f key. Grab your sh. Put your sh on in the f hallway. They got the message loud and clear. Beat it and take your pants with you. Move. You're moving way too f slow. But wait, it's not over. What about our heavy petting pet sitter, Ahmed? You know I just had to find this guy and hear his side of the story. Sure, I'll come down. We're right here. What happened? I was lost in the moment. You were lost in the moment? I, mean, I admire I your honesty. <laughs> I, I was. I had no intention of doing that. It's the first time I've ever done it. What happened was I was with a girl who loves cats, has two cats herself. I'm deeply apologetic. I've never done this before. <laughs> My love for animals is unprecedented, you know? I, I love animals, I do. I'm I mean, forgive me for laughing, but I, I admire your candor. I do. So is this a lesson learned for you? Of course, I've never done something like this and I made a mistake and I do deeply regret it. Thank you, Ahmed. Thank you, good luck to you. You, my friends, have just witnessed a Help Me Howard first. I've confronted a lot of people. Never, never have I seen anything where someone just comes out and says, I screwed up, you caught me, what are you gonna do? But you have to admire the guy for admitting his fault. If you have a problem, you know where to find it.